What's up YouTube? So I just wanted to document what I did on the, the 1970s Monte Carlo LS3 swap. Another shop installed the rear end. So put a spark plug boot here with a hose barb that gets at 90 degrees. You'll notice the exhaust system's way, way higher up. Um, the biggest problem here is that the rear springs are just not the right, right setup for this car. So I made it work. Even when the airbags have no air in it, it doesn't contact this now when it's in. So move the brake lines back underneath the exhaust so when it comes down, it doesn't hit. I'm gonna move that just a little bit more. And then this here, the shock, all right, was scraping the brake line. You can see that this is worn away. And then now when you see it come down, it will clear here. So I had to bend this bracket this way to get this to go in further. In a short time notice, this is the spacer that I had made up. We're running out of thread here. It really needed to be back another half inch or so. Uh, or these brackets needed to be heated up and tweaked, which I'm not gonna do. Um, but now the shock geometry is a lot better to clear the, uh, the stainless steel line and tube nut here. On the other side, same thing, just push the brake line back, tweak this so when the shock compresses, all right, so it will clear this line. You can see up here, let me zoom in, where it was contacting the shock. Let me, initially right here, that's all worn away and dented. All right, this side you're probably not gonna see because it's so tight. Let's see if I can get up in there. Yep, so there you go, right under the label. You know, thank God he doesn't race because he would have ripped these brake lines out or something like that. He doesn't have enough tire back here to really stick it to make the, the suspension jerk. He's on original lower control arm, so they will flex. He's up here on heim joints, so he, very little articulation of the uh, of the upper torque arms but the back ones definitely will do this and side to side because the you know they're just worn out but this is just the little stuff you know if you don't know hot rod stuff that needs to be done which is just an additional time and legit it's not a whole lot of additional time I'm, I'm okay with this I'm just not thrilled because I don't have enough materials here to make this work the right way um, but it should be okay in worst case is the shock will loosen up over a period of time um, but I'm okay with that and then you could use a set of springs so then what I did is once I got all my clearances in low right so the suspensions all the way low um, I raised the suspension up put 20 pounds of air in the airbags and then I gained two inches of clearance up in here which certainly helps too so let me finish up this clearance on this brake line right here and then uh, we're gonna ship this car thanks for watching